Hello, Rob from Fencing Pen Journey with a very brief pen review. I'll try and keep it as brief as possible anyway. But I do ramble on, so watch this space. Um, it's a Pen BBS pen uh, from China. Uh, it's the Pen BBS 308, 308, which is a pen that I have reviewed before. And I absolutely love this model. It's cartridge converter and it it's... You know, it's just one of those pens that's just kind of ideal for me. I really like them. Um, now this is the, this video is more about the actual material than the actual pen. I will do a full writing sample because otherwise people will be like, well, we want to see the pen right, so I won't disappoint you. Um, this material is the pen, B, well, the pen is the Pen BBS 308. Uh, with a fine nib, and this is the Amber is a Cat material. Now, I put a post out on Instagram, a little video rotating the pen yesterday, and people absolutely loved it. They really, really loved it. Um, I was really quite surprised. Um, it actually got quite a lot of likes on Instagram and also on Twitter. I put a little video on Twitter as well. And it's a spectacular amber colour. Uh, it's translucent, it's chatoyant, there's black, there's dark orange, there's light patches. Really gorgeous, gorgeous material. And very affordable too. So, I mean, look at the chatoyancy there, really lovely. So, amber is a cat, is this acrylic material which Pen BBS are use incorporating in quite a few of their other pens now that i've noticed that pen bbs pens they do seem to be um going down the uh, route of fairly limited production runs in the materials that they have so basically what happens is if you see a pen bbs pen and a material that you like buy it that's my recommendation because if you wait a few weeks, chances are they'll all be sold out and they don't seem to make any more. So this is the Amber is a Cat acrylic, which is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Now, I must admit, I keep doing orange and copper coloured fencing pen reviews at the moment, which not through intention, it just seems to happen that way. I have quite a few of these pens on the go. Um, and this is, this is absolutely lovely. And it is available in other pen BBS models as well. So let's stop rotating the pen for a minute. Oh, I don't know. Now you want to see this material, don't you? Gorgeous, gorgeous material. Anyway, let's just briefly talk about the pen because I will do a pen review, so keep everyone happy. Got this domed finial up here. Same material, same chatoyancy, really, really lovely. In sunlight, this material is spectacular. Um, we have a silver cap band up here, metal clip, which is perfectly functional, a little bit tight. Um, nice cap, cap band down here with uh, 308 and pen BBS there, stamped or I think it's stamped in there. Nice cigar shaped tapered barrel. Nothing on the end. And you can eye drop of these pens, which is an absolute bonus. Unscrew cap. It's just one. Almost two turns. Steel nib with the cap paw, which is specific to the pen bbs amber is a cat pens and we have also got amber is a cat engraved on there as well on the nib so that's a really really nice little touch acrylic section same material same lovely material look brilliant love this chatoyancy love this material and this is for me, I would say probably my optimum fencing pen length, unposted, it's ideal. It's, it's just 
the 308 is a pen that I really, really love. I've got several of these pens and yeah, just great. Absolutely love them. Uh, unscrew this. Now it is stiff because Pen BBS are really good at designing their pens often to be eyedroppered. So there's a lot of turns, nice tight threads, and there is an O-ring, nice silicon O-ring before the threads to stop the ink getting down here. So grease up the threads as well, and you've got a very good seal, and this will hold quite a lot of ink. But they do come with converters, and um, so that's always a bonus. So let's screw this back up. Does the pen post? Well, it posts really deeply. You don't need a lot of force to get really good thing on there. And this is still a good length to write with post. It, it's not back heavy. Um, the center, center cap band is actually well positioned because this kind of rests on your hand so you don't feel any undue weight towards the top of the cap when it's posted. So really, really impressed with this posted. But I don't tend to write with my pens posted, so it's great to have this size length. Look at the chatoyancy. <laughs> I'm going to bug you. Anyway. Let's get on to the writing sample. Fine steel nib. Amber is a cat version of the Pen BBS 308. And this nib is wonderful. I'm never a fan of fine nibs, particularly. I like broad, juicy lines. But these Pen BBS nibs are almost always, I wouldn't say always, because I have had one or two which have been a bit rubbish. They've needed work but almost always the right out of the box. And this one I'm very happy with. Uh, it's smooth. And it's wet. Uh, jumps over the lazy dog. No feedback particularly. Um, I will tell you what the ink is in a minute. Reasonably wet, medium wetness. The flow is excellent. These pens just write and write and write. No hard starts, no drying out, nothing like that. Um, the ink, which I've matched with this pen, is a, uh, ooh, what is it? Diamine. Diamine pumpkin. Which to me is rather on it's a nice orange, it's a bright orange, but it's a rather unsaturated orange. I I like my oranges to be a bit more um I don't know. Prefer them to pop. I don't like using the word pop in colours. Uh but yeah, I, I like to uh I like to see a bit more red, a bit more depth to my uh, inks, orange inks. Um, but this nib is smooth, and my god, this is one attractive pen. Can't even spell attractive, there we go. So, there we go. We'll talk about the size just for a minute of the pen comparing it to i would say it's almost it's almost orange the twisby uh eco t so the pen bbs is marginally uh longer by four mill four millimeters and uncapped 
you can see that the pen is almost exactly the same length. So let's pop the uh, pop the Twisby out of the way, which is my standard reference pen at the moment for length and size. Um, so what? Well, let's just look at this material a little bit more. Get you to focus. Look at it. Gorgeous material. Absolutely gorgeous material. Now I know that um, Chris uh, Sainz commented on my uh, video on my Instagram video yesterday, and yeah, she she loved this material. And I actually said to her, "It's it's almost what I want from a Tiger Eye type fountain pen. Tiger Eye happens to be one of my favourite uh, gemstones, semi-precious stones." And yeah, this, this this pen ticks those boxes. So this really does satisfy my need for a uh, tiger eye type fountain pen material. So there we go. Lovely pen, lovely material. So I'm not going to waffle on too much about it because you've seen it. But there is the Amber is a cat material in the pen BBS 308. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this interesting and attractive, which it is, and I shall see you next time. Bye.